choose these three exercises and there is a zero reason to ever do another chest exercise. You don't need anything else. Coach Greg, and today I am going to share with you the three best, most important exercises to develop the chest, okay? I'm also gonna share with you the three most overrated or worst chest building exercises. You all want a big chest. Who doesn't want a big chest? I want a big chest, but not everyone is training it properly. I'm not a doctor, but I do know how to train chest. I've been training chest for 34 years and I currently have a master's world record in the bench press. So I do know a little thing or two about chest training. So let's start with the best, the ultimate. Number one on the list, the flat bench press. That is the most popular chest training exercise in the world and it is for a reason. There's a very high correlation with somebody that can bench press a lot and the size of their chest. It's not only EMG studies where they analyze how much your muscle contracts and how much is recruited and so on. Like, let's face it. The scientist is standing there watching your form and making you do everything perfectly. And they do a test and it's like 34%, this one's 32. So that exercise is better. That might be true in that exercise setting with the scientist standing and counting and watching and all this stuff. But in the real world, you go and hit the gym and you don't have a scientist standing there. In the real world, the bench press, the flat bench press is the number one exercise you should be doing to build your chest okay you can't do it but you're missing out on that one guess what i can't do it anymore because my shoulders are a mess but i did that exercise consistently for over 30 years and that was the bread and butter of my chest training number two the incline dumbbell press okay incline dumbbell press so that's where you have a dumbbell in each hand and you are raising the bar and bringing the bar closer together. That allows the muscle to shorten more, okay? If you're doing it with a barbell, the chest is not squeezing together as much. So that shortening action will help improve your development, okay? Now on the flat, just stick with the regular bench press. But if you must, you can use dumbbells instead. But number two, incline. Here's an important point. Most people have the incline too high. They got it at 45, 50, 60 degrees. You don't need that thing inclined so high. 30 degrees or less is better. As you increase the angle, you're increasing how much the shoulder gets involved in the motion. Just think of it. If you're here, you're almost using all shoulders, a lot less chest development. The more you bend down, look at that more chest so don't try to crank up that incline put it down 15 to 30 degrees makes a huge difference okay so the pecs you have your pec major and pec minor and you're trying to develop the upper chest because it tends to be smaller in everyone so just get some kind of an incline in there and press it up and frankly the flat bench press is training your entire chest to start with but you want to focus a little bit more on the upper chest incline dumbbell press Number three on the list, and you don't need to do anything else than these three. Number three on the list is any machine, that's any as in choose one, that you start in the position like this and your hands end up closer together. It could be hammer strength, side best, pec, deck, cross, whatever you start and comes closer together. You want to have it lengthened at the bottom and shorten at the top to get that contraction. Okay. Could be an incline machine straight across. Doesn't matter. So just pick your favorite one. Choose these three exercises and there is a zero reason to ever do another chest exercise. You don't need anything else. I do maybe two exercises for chest in a workout. And I'm a professional bodybuilder and I need two exercises. I don't need five different exercises of this many, 15 different angles, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I do four sets of four exercises. No, you, you don't need all that stuff. Pick these three. They're the best ones. Choose the one that you want. The one that you want, you're going to put more effort on. 
People underestimate the importance of liking your workout program. If I program a thing and say, hey, I want you to do, you know, squats. You hate squats. It's not the best exercises to build legs. If you hate it, you train like a pussy every time you do a squat. You got to like the exercise. So you like the bench, do that one. Incline dumbbells, do that one. And then pick that machine that you want of your choice. The one you like the most. That's the one that you're going to try harder on. Now, the three worst or most overrated, and you can debate me with this. Some of you are going to say, hey, no, that's not the worst. I really like that exercise. Hey, well, if you really like it, it goes into number three on your top three list. You see how easy this is? All you science nerds and your RP the seven, the six, and the six week, the deload, the upload, and the carb backload. You're motivated by science, so that's improving yourself because you like training science. If you like training science, then train science. If you don't like training science and you want to train harder, then train harder. But you can still use scientific principles to train harder. But don't think that you have to see, keep three reps in the reserve and don't go past and recover this much and all. Oh, no, you're allowed to just go and train and have a good time, okay? So the three worst exercises. Number one is the dips. The dips. People all go and do the dips, the chest. The dips is working your triceps more than your chest. It is more triceps than chest. So many people do dips wrong and so many people get injured in the shoulders doing dips. I'm one of them. First did it when I was in high school, injured myself doing dips, body weight dips, hurt my shoulder. Ah, when you're hurt, you can't really train so well. Can't do dips now very well. It just hurt my whole life. It was a problem in my shoulders. It hurt. Most people, they don't lean forward enough. If you are doing a dip, you need to lean quite a bit forward so that when you press, you're getting more of your chest into the motion. Okay. Very important. Most people don't know that. So I don't, actually do them. I will do dips for my triceps, but I'll keep really high and try to use my tricep muscle for that. So remember, dips is overrated. You're better off picking those other three exercises if you can. If you do do dips, make sure you really lean forward and don't get hurt. Leave the ego lifting at the door on this one. So you are adding plates and stuff and just trying to bet. This is not the exercise to just risk injury on. Next is the decline bench press. What an ego lift that is. So let's, instead of laying back on a flat, let's lay upside down, or not upside down, but angle downwards so that the bar doesn't have to go down even more. When you bench, you're already arching and your chest is already up. And so you're literally pushing up and you're almost doing a decline on a flat anyway. So if you add an even more of a decline, you're doing the opposite. You're doing a shorter range of motion. You're going to have ego weights on, likely to get hurt. And what are you trying to do? Develop more of your lower part of your chest, the part that you're already overdeveloped on anyway. Why add something that's already overdeveloped? That doesn't make sense. Incline, not decline. So avoid the decline bench press. Number three, and this is the one you really need to avoid, okay? Are you ready for it? The one you don't want to do. I repeat, the one you do not want to do. So the worst exercise for chest is the one you hate doing the most. Stop doing that one. Feel free to write in the comments. This is the one I, I hate the freaking dips. I hate the bench press. That exercise, throw it out of your training plan. If I have a client that writes me and says, I don't like decline bench press. I don't like incline barbell press. I hate flat bench press with a barbell, but I like the dumbbell. Then get rid of the one you hate. It's stupid. Why are we training doing stupid shit we don't like? You need to like your training. If you like your training, you're going to do it harder. I don't like running. I like bike riding. I will bike ride harder than if I run. Therefore, bike riding is a better exercise for me. Does that make sense? If you like the elliptical, do the freaking elliptical for cardio. If you don't like the treadmill, stop it. If you don't like the stepper, stop it. Don't like pec deck. Don't do the pec deck. You hate crossovers. Stop doing the crossovers. 
This is so easy and it's the main point of this video is to choose the exercises you like. Stop doing the ones you don't like. Only do a few different exercises. Pick your three favorites and you're gonna grow like crazy. Well, not really like crazy unless you're on anabolics. I do have a chart that shows you how much you're actually gonna grow and how much you expect to grow. Ain't that much. But you should be able to maximize your growth using two or three exercises for chest. And just so you know, in a week, 10 to 20 hard sets a week, maximum, two to three times a week you should train your chest. So let's say you pick twice a week, five to 10 hard sets of chest twice a week, at the freaking most. 10 if you're a pro bodybuilding phenom. Five is plenty if you're somewhere at the start, okay? If you're a beginner, even way less. But I'm saying the average person, five to 10 hard sets of chest twice a week, oh my goodness, that's a lot, okay? And most people aren't even training hard. So if you're literally training really hard, you don't need 10 sets. I don't even do that. And I'm a professional bodybuilder with world records and so on. And I don't ever do 10 sets hard of chest twice a week, ever, never, okay? Subscribe, click the bell button. Let me know if you want me to do other ones. For example, how to get bigger arms, the best biceps exercise, triceps, legs, you name it. Let me know if you want, if that's of interest in you. If it is, I will continue to do more. Watch one of these videos, informative. GregDuset.com, if you need some coaching, let me know. Phone consults, you know that's the website for that too. And follow me on Instagram, GregDuset, IBB Pro. Until next time, I am out.